Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on Peacemaker, episode four entitled The Chode Less Traveled. And here is my review on episode four. Episode four to me was another good episode as we found out a lot more about certain characters and also just a surprising reveal at the very end as well. So episode four basically starts off where episode three ended off with the entire gang just recuperating after that crazy mission that they did with Peacemaker and Vigilante just talking about what happened and everything. And Judo Master somehow, some way is still alive after taking all of those headshots. Like, I don't understand how this man is still alive. He should be on a t-shirt because this man is dangerous. This man is crazy to say the least. Meanwhile, when it wants to return back into the office, Harcourt gets at Adebayo for messing up at the job and everything. And Adebayo promises to make things better, to say the least. Uh, sometime later, Peacemaker and Vigilante decide to go to Peacemaker's father's house just to get some more equipment and everything. And Peacemaker is still trying to figure out like a few things about his father. And Vigilante is like, your father, he's a pretty horrible person. And Peacemaker's father, after finding things out in this episode, you can definitely say that this man is a pretty horrible individual with some of the things that he did in his life and what he's doing now. Um, Peacemaker talks to his father's neighbor and everything. The neighbor is still talking a little bit of crap, but trying to make some good talk. That is where Peacemaker finds out about everything, about his father being locked up and how the gang accidentally framed him for Peacemaker's crimes. Peacemaker decides to go visit his father to find out more and everything and try to make things right. But once he visits his father in jail, the conversation is very horrible. It's tense, it's bad, as Peacemaker's father basically berates him for everything that he's done in his life and how he has plans to basically snitch on the entire gang for what they was doing and what happened really. And sometime later, Adebayo and Vigilante are just talking and Adebayo somehow, some way makes Vigilante do the most craziest thing that he's ever done, which is basically get himself locked up and put Peacemaker's father on a t-shirt to say the least and that ends on a crazy note meanwhile the judo master is somewhat still alive after those crazy headshots he's been placed in restraints to not escape but somehow this man was able to escape and just like last time the judo master causes ruckus just because he's short doesn't mean he can't fight like the judo master was splitting people's wigs once again, like it was just nothing. And judo master was about to reveal something surprising to be speaker about the butterflies. But before he is able to do that, he is shot by Adi Boyle. And this time it seems as if like he may become a teacher eventually to say the least. Meanwhile, back in jail, Vigilante is trying to do whatever he can to cause a ruckus. He talks to Peacemaker's father and his supremacist gang. He basically berates them, roasts the living crap out of them. And we see, I see now that Vigilante, yeah, he's goofy on the outside, but that man is definitely, don't mess with him. Like, Vigilante is somebody you don't want to mess with. Like, I guess he, I guess he may be a psychopath with what he was doing. He was splitting a few people's wigs and everything and some pretty crazy ways but during that same night he gets out of jail he tells hardcore about possibly messing things up a lot bigger um peacemaker finds hardcore in a bar where he tries to find out more about why his father is such a horrible individual about what his father did in his childhood for everything that has happened Harcourt tells him that basically when Peacemaker was a kid, his father was basically making him put people on some t-shirts and we get a few different flashback scenes of just Peacemaker in his childhood, 
how his childhood was pretty sad because of his father, how he was forced to kill people and everything, and how he may have been responsible for his brother's death. They don't say it, but it's somewhat implied. The episode basically ends with just Adebayo making a surprising discovery, and it shows that Clemson is a butterfly. Yeah, I don't know what to think about that. But like I mentioned before, episode four to me was a good episode. I did like it a lot. It was pretty crazy to say the least. What I did like about this episode was that we got to find out a lot more about some of the Evil characters. Um, we found out a lot more about Peacemaker's father, a little bit more about Vangelanti, and also that Clemson is a butterfly. Like, ah, this is crazy. Some of my predictions that I have about this season is that so far, I do think that Peacemaker's father is somehow going to be able to snitch on the entire gang for what happened at that night. And I think that Peacemaker is somehow going to get in trouble for the things that he did. Um, I think that Adebayo's identity is going to be revealed eventually that she is Amanda Waller's daughter and everything. And once the entire gang finds out that Clemson is a butterfly, I think some trust is definitely going to get lost in the gang as well. And that harsh truth is going to be made that Clemson is going to become a nice white t-shirt in the process. But out of all, good episode. Can't wait until next week. Thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye.